This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four minute forecast going over all that severe weather potential over the next several days. Let's get started with today. There is a slight risk for severe weather across central and as well as the southern portions of the plains, mainly for Kansas and as well as Nebraska. The main threats today will be damaging winds, large to very large hail, and also a low end tornado threat will exist. Let's take a look at that tornado threat. Overall, it's going to primarily focus in Kansas and as well as Nebraska, as well as into Iowa. So the main threat again, a low end tornado threat it's not going to be the main threat today the main threat is actually going to be that large hail as you can see that hatch area is going to represent your potential for baseball the tennis ball sized hail with a storm or two so be monitoring that very area uh, area excuse me very closely oklahoma is also included in a low end potential for some hail as well today here's a look at that future radar so you can see about six seven o'clock a lot of storms are developing back out to the north near nebraska and as well as into western kansas these storms will go on go throughout the evening you can see by nine o'clock filling in across a lot of kansas by 10 to 11 o'clock they're moving through areas like Hutchinson going toward Wichita by about midnight to one, one o'clock in the morning. It starts to see a line of storms will eventually develop. That'll go toward Oklahoma. See by about two to three in the morning, those storms are going to be moving through areas like Tulsa as well as Oklahoma City. By about four to five, those storms will move into areas like western Arkansas and maybe far northeastern Texas might see a storm or two. But again, main threat with these will be mainly damaging winds. If not, they'll be just gusty winds. That's kind of the main threat at this point. There's also a low end chance for some severe weather as well going into uh, Monday, and that's going to be a slight risk across, across west western kansas and as well as far northern oklahoma uh, again main threats can be damaging winds large hail very low end tornado threat more specific details on that uh, coming soon but as of right now our pattern change is going to be massive over the next several days and we'll see many storm chances especially across the central plains and as well as the high uh southern plains you can see going into tuesday several showers and storms will develop then damaging winds being the main threat with that area storms by wednesday more showers and storms across a large portion of oklahoma going to thursday maybe even more storms but as of right now north texas not forecasted to see much in terms of storms maybe going to late friday we might see one or two isolated storms but as of right now again it can be very low end chances at this point Let's take a look at the tropics as i mentioned before potential tropical cyclone one actually did not become named yet it's likely to become named today uh, i've been mentioning this several times in a row it's supposed to get named at some point it just doesn't have all the characteristics which is why it's not named but it is still producing winds upwards of 45 miles per hour that's the sustained winds as of right now um, again the wind field is actually pretty large as of right now this will be going toward bermuda 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 is under a tropical storm watch. There are tropical storm warnings ongoing for the Bahamas, but those areas are basically not going to see much by the time you see this forecast. A lot of heavy rain did fall in Florida, though. We saw upwards of like 10 to 12 inches in some spots near Miami as well as West Palm Beach. So that was a lot of rain, but this will obviously go out to sea eventually. And uh, once it passes by Bermuda, it will start to fizzle out more into a tropical depression. Here's a look at the infrared imagery as of right now. Again, you can kind of see the circulation, a lot of thunderstorm activity with this as well. You can really see all those whites and black colors representing very high cloud tops. So we're seeing very strong strong severe storms in there a few water spouts also happen i don't think there's any tornadoes in florida but again this is going to be moving off to the northeast uh, a lot of it is out of the area at this point all right, here's a look at the temperatures this morning. You can see many of us are waking up to the upper 60s and low 70s across the Metroplex. Eventually, by the afternoon, a lot of us will warm up into the low to mid 90s, some of us back out to the west in the low 100s. Also, temperatures for tomorrow morning will be waking up a few degrees warmer. A lot of us are going to be in the uh, mid 70s eventually by the afternoon. A lot of the area will be in the mid to upper 90s, low to mid 100s, closer to even 110 out in San Angelo. So it'll be a very hot day tomorrow. Here's our latest North Texas Weather Center seven day forecast. And again, temperatures over the next several days in the mid 90s for the most part at least for the denton county area eventually going to late next week many of us might get close to 100 degrees even in north texas this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all fence repair and patriot safe rooms